British Republic, a large social experiment to discover if one man and his YouTube channel can truly rule in the name of entertainment and gamers all over our great kingdom. The British Republic, taking the world one disaster at a time. Alright guys and welcome back to building a realistic UK landscape or at least a sort of rural city landscape with all these lovely towns everywhere. It's actually looking really nice at the moment. I'm very proud of all of this, all of the farms, the rural background, all these rolling hills. Uh, we did a huge time lapse on the channel in the last episode of me putting all of this together. So if you need a good how-to on where and sort of what things to use to get these farms looking the way they do, go and check that out. But this episode, we're going to be planning and building our brand new city over on the other side of the hill over there um, with uh, some new surprise assets, some motorsport stuff that I've got my hands on that I'm really keen to use. So hang about for that if you're interested or you're building like a, um, Oh, a Goodwood racetrack of your own, um, or I'm trying to think of a worldwide equivalent that you might, or um, sort of Santa Monica. Santa Monica is a good example, sort of a racetrack through a town or through a sort of an, an industrial area. We really like motorsport in the UK. There's racetracks everywhere for motocross. You've got rallies. You've got we've got quite we're quite lucky that we've got hilly landscapes and quite flat areas, so we can have a lot of different motorsport. Also F1, and I think that's what the assets are for. So I'll have a look in a bit, and we can see. But that's something to experiment with, and I think it should be a lot of fun trying to slot that in between like buildings and things. So that'll be cool. Um, a lot of you have also been asking about like the mods I've been using for sorting out my roads so I'm definitely going to be showing you the techniques and tricks that I use for smooth traffic flow and avoiding the mass traffic jams that I see in so many other people's videos because loads of people seem to have the mods or they at least, even if you don't have the mods, they, these most of my tips and tricks work. It's mainly to do with how many lanes you have, because most people seem to think that you can turn right and left at every junction you come to, and that's not how it works anywhere on earth. Uh, there's lots of ring roads and one-way roads and sort of giant roundabouts that sort of meander through a city. Even though they're not round, they might just be one-way circuits through like a city centre, they're really key to having good traffic flow so I'll be going into all of that with you all soon. Um, but to start with, I also want to start on this area over here, get these woods, more dense traffic and some more, uh, like I was saying, just a more dense cityscape underway so let's get started. Right, the first thing that I think we should get to is sorting out where our main roads are going to be and I quite like using this four lane road that goes two directions with a nice median in the middle because you can connect that quite nicely with these two little one way roads and they're excellent for again keeping that flow. So, we've got quite a big area here don't we and I'd like to have the commercial area sort of straight through here like this, that would be the best thing in my opinion and then we can have the housing estate sort of above have all the connections coming straight down, nice walkway around the side maybe, and I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to put this, the racetrack either. Let's have a look at those pieces. Of course there's no actual <laughs> images for them, but these are what they are, and they're quite nice because they're all one way. And how, do you ask, are you going to have racetracks at all, because surely people aren't going to drive around them? Aha, well, luckily the latest update allows you to have a bus route, and you can pick what vehicle goes on that bus route as long as you have a bus that I assume you will have to mod I guess that's something you would have to change yourself because you won't be able to have a um, an F1 car driving around but I have I mean I can't do it here but I have some F1 cars which I can mod to be in a bus route and they can drive around this as a bus lane it'll be a bit weird because I have a bus stop I guess in the pit lane and have that do a loop back to the pit lane, which will be a bit unusual, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. I think that'll work really well. These are actually quite highly detailed. These fences I really like as well. Let's look up close. Aha, I promised I would and I always forget, but look at that, see, there's loads of details on it. It's proper mesh as well. It's a bit weird looking at them from the front because you're not really supposed to. They do join together really well, but this will be superb to stand on and watch some race tracks, race tracks? watch some races actually happen do some cinematics, maybe I'll set up an actual race and we could watch that take place, that'd be awesome. Because there is, now I think about it, I don't know if we've unlocked it yet, but there is a stadium, a full-on stadium somewhere. Oh, what's this? Is that Noah's Ark? Oh, it's a boat museum, fair boss, it's not going to be Noah's Ark. 
Here we go, we do have a proper stadium, so we could put the stadium in the middle or somewhere in the centre and that would kind of encourage people to come in and out of it, which would look good because otherwise not that many people are going to visit it unless we put it inside a national park and then people are charged to go in and I'm not sure it actually looks that nice so we get into a load of problems there but I think we'll combine this with a park or um, the a sort of football area and that will make that re a really nice sports centre in the middle of the racetrack so we'll have to be a little bit careful about where we put it. In real life you can close roads and have like a day when the roads are all closed and they replace it all with racetrack. You can't do that in city skylines so we'll have to get a bit inventive but for now let's get that commercial road actually up and running we'll lead it relatively to the center and then i'm going to have a one-way road that does a sort of strange shape and that will become the city center because i'm a real fan of using one-way roads in that way and i tend to find that in again in the uk city centers are quite busy places and they have a lot of one-way roads london is famous for having a really complicated one-way road network so I'll get to this quick time lapse and I will see you guys you wonderful guys and, and girls on the other side Okay, I've actually already watered the place it would seem and it's probably going to be able to get power from there but this I think is a good layout for a city centre so let's start dumping in the sort of main blocks of shops. You might have noticed these are actually for people to walk on. I thought I had a different um, road for that but it had a couple of glitches and it doesn't seem to agree with using my English road texture pack but if we walk up to this up close it actually looks quite nice. See these you can't actually walk onto anyway so you can't drive onto these they are for people only. But they do accept small amounts of traffic for the shops to reach so these will be really good for the taller buildings to sort of sit in between let's let them actually start building hit play it's quite a slow process when we let them build because they can only build during the day and it's also set to real time which means that when they do start building it's actually quite a slow process anyway we'll have a look in a moment one of them will spring up any second Ah, they're springing up now. Look at that. See, that's really cool. But as you can see, if I go to first person, they do build very slowly. In real life, obviously, they don't even build this quickly. So I don't mind. But the real time mod that I've got installed slows down all of that. And if it's night time, they don't build at all. I think it's got to be between uh, the hours of 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. for them to actually construct anything or wait until the next day. So that's a fine detail that I'm rather a fan of. This will all crop up. Should have good traffic flow though I guarantee nothing we might need another way on and off for all the traffic if I'm honest but we'll watch the commercial plummet down here and we will start working on some housing even though they don't need any housing they will do in a minute and I'm not too sure about industry industry I've left a little space here but I'm not 100% sure what it will be yet because I'd like to put loads of forest over here like I was saying in the introduction it'd be great to have forest, woodland, that sort of thing. And then maybe we could just have forestry, but I'd have to put all those trees down myself because at the moment there's nothing here. So that's something we'll have to work out as we go because it is, wow, it's springing up really quickly. God, I love it. Let's go and do these houses before we run out of time and they've already finished all the shops and there's no one to shop there. Difficult to say exactly how much traffic we're going to end up coming through this roundabout exactly, but it's going to have to take basically everybody that comes in and out of the housing estate and tries to get back to <laughs> back to shopping. We might have to put some other exits and entrances that sort of cut, like I was saying, up down here would be a great way to have a road that just goes from the top of this roundabout straight to the housing area so people don't have to drive through here. But at the same time, this is going to be our sort of main way in and out. And then I will start blocking off some nice housing estates because I'm a real fan of the UK housing estate. It's very boring. <laughs> it's not the most exciting thing to build, but I think they look so nice when they're done. Everything matches up perfectly. You get these rows of terraced houses. So it might take me a moment. In fact, it might take me long enough 
to do a very short time lapse again. I love doing them and I think you all leave nice comments saying that you quite appreciate the music. I do put who's in, who made the music, the artists, and where you can go find them. So do go feel free to check them out and I will see you guys on the other side. Okay, that's the general housing area done. You might have noticed me tarting up a couple of other things that caught my eye, but for now I'm just going to get into traffic management because I keep promising you all that I will, so now is the time. Right, if you have, like on this one, although you can't see the arrows, there are three lanes on this. If I go on first person you can see them, just to prove my point. There you go, there are three lanes. One, two, three, on here. And there are two lanes here and two lanes here, so that doesn't add up. So what you have to do is you have to then start thinking about using this or you can start using I'll first do it using my mod which is the traffic manager and then afterwards I will do it on a different roundabout in a second and I'll do it using uh, no mods at all. So for starters these two lanes are to leave because these two if you're on them you are leaving you're in this lane or this lane off of the roundabout. This one then is spare to carry on over and they can decide where they're going to go, obviously, with their own journey. And these guys have the same problem. They're only allowed to turn left because they're going onto the roundabout. So in reality, it actually matches up rather well. And if you're using the traffic manager, you can do all these lanes and it's not a problem. In um, the game by Vanilla, if I left it like this without the traffic manager mod, then this would clog up really fast because it's three into, into four or three into two, which neither way works. Um, however, in a second, like I say, I will show you how to do that without using mods and by doing it properly, just by using actual lane management, which is technically what I should be doing, but it's not exactly how they build them in real life, so it's just not worth trying. Okay, we're on the other side of the housing estate now and I'm going to do a roundabout here and I'm going to do the entire thing and connect it up to the one down here. You without, you, you without using mods is the best plan. Uh, for starters, I will do a reg I'll use regular roads and unmodded stuff as well, just so that you know exactly what's going on. Also, really important for traffic flow, something that nobody mentions is roads are meant to line up so it, again i'm using a mod to see it but you just can't see this in game so just try to make sure that you will notice see if i move this you'll notice this road here eventually at some point will click onto it there you go see there it clips together now if they're clipped together properly and these two lines make a perfect straight line from this dotted here to this one here then the cars drive across it as if it is one smooth piece of road if you do this and they don't line up perfectly, or as I had, to be fair, over here just about 30 seconds ago during the time lapse, I noticed that this piece and this piece weren't lined up. And if they're not lined up, then this one changes height because it thinks it's straight, it's a straight line, so it must be flat and this one's curved, so it then starts to drop. But if you line them up and actually make them curved and they clip together like that, it becomes one smooth curve and also one smooth slope because it's one piece of road. So that's a really important thing if you're doing like wiggly roads or any kind of complicated connection to try and make sure that they are perfectly round or at least that these, you can literally kind of see it. It's a very subtle click. Hopefully I've zoomed right in so you can see that sort of clipping together there. But yeah, try and look, keep an eye out for that effect because it really, really helps in the grand scheme of things. Let's get rid of some of these trees. They are really in my way. 
Okay, so once you've got your lovely round roundabout, yours will be much more round than mine because you've been taking yours seriously, whereas mine isn't perfectly round, but it's also got houses and buildings on it, which it shouldn't have, but no mods for me. Uh, then we're going to pick somewhere up here that's nice and good for having a junction. And there's already one here, so I might make that into a four-way come up and then down and join it onto here rather than on this corner because corners are really awkward and you don't want to put yourself through all of that for nothing. I'm going to use a highway because, is that one way or both ways? Two way, good. And we want to be using that because again, we want people not to stop. We don't want traffic on there. And if I was using mods, I have the traffic manager to tell it that they've got a set speed to use. But if we're not using mods, then I would use a piece of motorway road as a sort of way of keeping the traffic moving very very quick and not stopping now we can use our motorway on off ramp to create a lovely smooth parts for the roundabout itself there we go look at that it's already starting to come together it's so satisfying okay i'm using a mod here but i just can't leave it unfilled there we go much better so that's my ocd tampered with that's my untri that's me untriggered <laughs> and we will make a move so that part's all done really nicely no mods required um there is one change i will make to that actually because this is a lie it goes two lanes here one should go right one should go left and it doesn't there's two if i was using mods i would tell the traffic manager to control that but we're not in an imaginary world so you delete that one drag that across and now you have this and it looks much nicer so now when the traffic comes round, the vanilla engine that runs the com the computer's cars the car's computers will turn left and go up there all right and go down here and there's no extra work required that'll be lovely and smooth and it also looks quite nice and then from there we're going to put like i say we're going to use another highway road i might end up connecting this back onto other things later and we'll turn it back into sort of more more junctions um, but that should be fine and again, we'll probably bring this roundabout off into a section down here. Otherwise, there's no point having a roundabout here, but that's the general gist of my plan. It's going to look a little bit unusual because I'm doing it without mods compared to everything else in the town. But I, I like to fill out when you people ask me for things. If you say, please, can we see more of this? I will do my best to show you. And this is the only way I can think of best displaying how to keep a really smooth network because I really struggled when my computer um, wasn't the computer I have now. City Skylines did not run very well and I was working my tits off trying to keep it running really, really smooth without any mods at all. And there are a good number of things you can do to cut down. Make that smaller. God, I can't leave it. I just can't leave it. <laughs> I'm unable to walk away and leave it ugly. It has to be at least relatively neat and tidy and drag the tree out because there would not be trees in the middle of the concrete. There might be, but they'd be inside a little, a little box. And then we can bring this right the way down here. Uh, I don't want it to be too straight, but I also don't want it to go up too high because there's a bit of a height change between down here and up here. So this I'll have meander slightly along the edge of the hill, try and follow the landscape a bit, and it should make it a bit of a smoother entry exit for everyone. Same thing, nice simple one way on, one way off. And because it's two to two, that's all fine. This roundabout isn't two to two. This goes three, one, one, three. So I'll have to use my mod for here because this is a modded roundabout. I've started this one with mods, the other part without. But it should at least give you a start if you don't have anything or you're playing on console and you're watching this for some tips and tricks on ways that you can keep everything moving without having to panic. Oh yeah, and I've actually forgotten to do this part over here. So if this had been left the way it was, that part wouldn't work either. This needs to go down to being a one delete oops that's not what i wanted <laughs> uh, one way actually really that should be motorway i didn't think about that because there is two lane highway both going in the same direction that's really what you should use for a roundabout if you're not modding that's what you should use i use um actual roundabout roads <laughs> which i've got in here which even have the little walkway symbols on if i find one and draw it quickly and hop in uh there we go see this one's even got these on and these are literally on every roundabout in the UK no matter where you go that dictates that you are on a roundabout these arrows remind everybody that it is it is left <laughs> you go left 
Uh, this area is actually looking quite nice. I've tried to use some posher houses at the front that I think are really nice sort of um, terraced houses. They've got nice. This looks very similar to my student accommodation. It even has a red door, which is a bit freaky and a tiled front. That looks very, very much like it belongs in Portsmouth. And then behind these, we've got some slightly cheaper houses that are a bit smaller. And these would be, I suppose, council or they'd be owned by the state if you're in America. I don't know if you have councils. Do you have council houses in America? Let me know down below because I am slightly curious what you'd call them in America, or whether you just call them flats or... Um, but it, when you're paid for by the state and you are able to get a house and somewhere to live and, uh, you know, your family's being looked after, things like that, um, uh, they build these housing estates and they, they have council houses in them in the UK, but I don't know if there's like an equivalent for that around the world or if that's just something that we Brits do. So do let me know. This does need a hell of a lot of tarting up, but for now they've got that. The little town in the middle is springing up. It's all very blank. There'll be so much detailing to do in a bit, but it's all looking quite nice. Uh, industry is the next big problem though. Over here, there's so much industry going. It's actually a surprise. God, it's so lovely on this side. Oh, I miss visiting this side of the map now. We've only been gone for about an hour or so and I already miss walking around. I did say we would actually. We haven't done any walking around, so let's. Let's walk around Hambrook. Welcome to Hambrook. Hey, hey, it looks quite nice. Should we hit play? Let's get it down to like real speed. <laughs> Shouldn't actually be speeding by. There we go, that's about right. Yeah! Look how nice it looks, because we did all that detail in the last time lapse, and I haven't really even looked around myself, so it's quite nice to see it. A little courtyard in the middle with some places to sit. Um, got the bus stop over there. God, look at all these shops. Little UK, little UK shops that I've never seen before. Jeez, macaroons. I'm, I'm assuming that's sweets or something. Excuse me, madam. Uh, oh, wow. Look at that. I've got the fire department. They've even got like reflections in the window that someone's gone and taken a photo of one, haven't they? That's really cool. That's actually a photograph as a texture. Superb. God, that's a lot of people waiting for the bus, but the bus is very popular. That's a good thing. Let's sprint our way over to housing. Actually, we can go through here, can't we? We can go past the bus stop, if I remember rightly. There's this little car park, and then there's a path. I think there's a path because the doctor's is here. I swear I put in a path. Did I not? Oh, I feel bad now. There really should be a path that goes from here through to here. Because everyone has to walk all the way around the block just to get to the bus stop, which is only just there. So that's something we'll have to do. <laughs> it's amazing how walking around yourself actually changes perspective. There's the doctors. And then here's all the houses. And another little courtyard area, which I think is quite nice. It's very flat, though. Could use a couple of um, like burger stands or something here. That would be cool. Proper sort of stone cottages because we're a bit more countryside here. So these are all sort of, um, what would you call this? Shingles? Shingles on the side. A disease, a very unpleasant disease and also uh, a way of making your house look nice in England. Cover them in shingles. Oh, it's the Rosses! Driving, what is that? Is he driving a Jaguar? It looks like he's driving the 007 Jag. I guess in London they do drive very fast cars. I think most countries have somewhere where the police force drive quite nice cars. And here's the school, the secondary school and primary school, which I've fused into one big building, as you might have noticed in the last episode time lapse. Put some fences around it to stop weird people like us wandering in. Ah, oh, look at these long grasses. I'm pleased with this. This is looking really, really nice. And then we've got a very long way to walk this way. We're not going to walk all the way. Those of you who are thinking, oh my God, doesn't it go on forever? Aren't there paths and fields and stuff in all directions? Look at that, you can see all those little details going off and off forever. Great, looks amazing. Oh, you can even see the hill. On the other side of that hill is where we are right now, technically. But anyway, all of this is equally detailed. There's loads of paths that go around the back. We've got, um, I, there was a railway here that I talked about in the last episode with you all, but it was actually a bit dead. It went to a dead end and I didn't know what to do with it. So I've tarted one side up as if it were in use all the time and I've given it a walkway and uh, you, have, can't, you, know, you can't walk over it. And this one over here is a dead end. So I've given it some buffers here so the trains can't go any further. Not that they come here because there's nowhere for them to go and a path that goes straight across. And this one just sort of goes to a dead end, which does happen quite a lot here. 
you do find a lot of dead ends because we had our industrial revolution. We built railways, poor, hundreds of thousands of miles of railway all across the country. And then Beecham came along and said, we should close like 80% of them because we're not making any money. We've just built railways instead of where roads would be traditionally in modern day, today England. And it was a bit much, so we had to cut them all back. So there's loads of dead end railways that became parks and walkways and bridle paths. So trying to keep with the theme. One cup of tea and a bacon sandwich later, welcome back. Uh, I've been doing a bit of fiddling. There were loads of little bits of detail that I wanted to do and I didn't think you'd want to sit through another time lapse that was really long, so I just got to it. Um, I've moved some of the power cables from up here because they were really ugly. They now weave nicely down the back of the mountain and then they separate here into a load of neat and tidy little cables. Um, I've tidied up all of this, added some little parks here and there. Uh, we've got some nice gardens that I've decorated, lots of paths for people to walk around. Uh, I've sorted out the services as well. Um, so there's a doctor's, there's a uh, fire and, and police. This area is looking a bit nicer as well. I've put in the bus routes, though it looks like this one's actually a little bit clogged up. That's probably because they're using it as a normal road. I'll have to change that in a minute. Uh, down here I've also sorted some industry, started decorating this, it's all, all lovely and concrete. I love concrete and I added a river because I thought it was a wonderful way to separate the, uh, the industrial area from the nice commercial area and it also does as a nice feature for the F1 track which I've also started because we've got some parking over here, lots of parking, a silly amount of parking and they're floating because I have been rush jobbing most of this. All the trees, all the decoration and the major things I've put loads of effort into but this, I threw this together quite quickly because I thought we'd do this bit together. So shall I start by putting down a football stadium? because that's what we're going to be using as sort of the point of interest here. That will be why people are coming to this part of the world. Uh, if we put it on the end, actually, will it fit there? Go on, you know you want to. That's perfect. Go there, go there. Right, excellent, because I could put that on the end. We'll concrete in front of it, try and make this bit look all pretty and nice. It is a little bit high up though. It's on a bit of a cliff. I might have to lower it slightly and then maybe put in some nice steps or something. Oh, we can't move it too far. Okay, we'll work that out at some point. I'll have to sort this, but then we've got all this room for the F1 circuit. And then I have actually made a brief plan because I watch a lot of F1. So I had a look at a few circuits from above and uh, half of this, that one half of this is from Goodwood and the other half is from Silverstone. So I'm quite pleased with it. And I've sort of amalgamated the two into the, well, I haven't even named this um, area yet. Let me know what we should call this entire town segment and what we should name the racetrack as well because I suppose that will need an actual name. Uh, I've got the two under underpasses here which go under the road obviously so now we just have to work out the, the rest of it. <laughs> it could be quite interesting. Smooth. There we go. Looks a bit better now. So even then this part's sort of not quite right so it's going to take quite a bit of tweaking but I don't mind having a little bit of a step down because then we can put like tents or we can have like a festival area here on the edge <laughs> or maybe put it in the middle I suppose normally they have it in the middle of the circuit don't they and then they have a bridge that goes over that'd be really cool it's going to be great to walk around all of this when it's done it'll be basically a little a mini Glastonbury in a funny sort of way so that'll be great all right then there we go you can sort of see where it's going the idea is starting to come through because it doesn't look very good for a while and then it starts to come together and you can see bit by bit what the general goal is so we'll have to put a little weird road that will come off of here a little dirt track that goes around under and into the pits from behind and then into this lane because we need to be able to get our f1 bus lane cars into here however that will all be in the next episode. So do let me know down in the comments if you've got any ideas for what we should be calling any of this. We also need to name the stadium. I suppose we've got a football team to look after and colour. We can set out what their team uniform should be if I click it. Oh my God, there's so much we can work out. The British Republic Football Club versus Rockdale FC. I suppose that's also a football club. But yeah, we can charge money for tickets. We can see how many we've won and lost. And I believe... Look at that! We can even walk around, although there's a tree in it and the ground isn't quite flat because we haven't fiddled with it yet, but we can even watch a football game from the inside like some sort of 
spectator like the damn spectator that we are so hit the like button it really helps me out on the channel if you haven't already then consider becoming a subscriber and hit the bell icon so that you get notified if we have any videos going live then you can be there in the chat with me and you can give me all of your feedback and tell me where i've gone wrong to my face and i will see you all in the next glorious episode of city skylines and the british republic